Hey, yo, what's shaking? This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. And I got a question for y'all out there. Ladies, are you waiting for the perfect man to just come and save you, sweep you off your feet, change your life forever, fall madly in love? Gentlemen, do you believe that there is one soulmate for you? That will be everything you ask for or do everything you want them to do for you. Well, if you do, you most likely suffer from what I like to call Cinderella Syndrome. Let's talk about it. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. 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 I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of raw. So, what is the Cinderella syndrome? Well, in short, uh, the Cinderella syndrome is basically. The, the the Disney manifestation of a soulmate. I'm going to speak on how this has affected women because it's affected women more than men. The reality is these uh, these Disney movies over the years uh, it's created a very unrealistic uh, way of thinking about love and um, soulmates and relationships. Um, it's a very um, entitled way of thinking. You know, um, I have all these issues, all these problems. My life is boring. My life is uh, mundane. My life sucks. I wish that some knight in shining armor, uh, you know, would roll in on his white horse, um, some prince, some Mr. Right, um, you know, would just come and sweep me off my feet, rescue me and uh, change my life and uh, shower me with gifts and love and um, take me around the world, <laughs> whatever, all these fantasies, right? And we'll, we're gonna fall madly in love as soon as he sees me. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna fall, uh, we're gonna live happily ever after because, because I deserve that. Um, this is, uh, this is this is how a lot of grown women think today, and um, this has a lot to do with why um, modern day relationships between men and women are in shambles. A lot of it has to do with this this Cinderella syndrome. Um, there are men that suffer from this too, um, you know, thinking that you know they're deserving of a woman to do whatever they want a woman to do, you know. Um, but I think men are more practical and more um, logical. So this whole Cinderella syndrome, uh, we like men know that in, in general, by and large, that uh, there is no Mrs. Right and there is no princess coming to, you know, save us from the wicked witch that we... Uh, married or are in a relationship with or our, our wicked witch baby's mama or what you know <laughs> whatever we know that um that's not likely to happen it's possible but it's not very probable which is why it's highly unlikely that you're going to hear a man say um you know i'm 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 just going to sit back and i'm i'm waiting for my queen to to come you know um my queen is you know I'm waiting for my queen to come find me. See, men men understand that life is competitive and we have to go out there and make ourselves seen and go find our queen. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? We understand that if she's a queen, she has the potential to be any king's queen. So if I'm a king, I got to go out there and compete with other kings for my queen. We know that relationships take work and, uh, you know, we're, we're more simple 
than that. We're not, you know, we don't need the world from some woman. We, we just need, a, you know, we just need respect, appreciation, sexual uh, attention. Um, someone we can, that we enjoy being around after the sex. You know, and, and uh, you know, a, a good meal, you know, so, simple things. So women are looking for certain things in, 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 in a relationship from men. And men are looking for certain things from women. Um, you hear the word soulmate thrown around a lot, you know. Um, and again, you mostly hear women say this because it's part of the syndrome. Um, there's, there's Mr. Right. Um, all of these terms all come down to the per my perfect match. Um, and, the, and the truth of the matter is, there is not one uh, soulmate for each person. For you to be a soulmate, first of all, you have to understand that two souls have to bond. That's what a soulmate is. It's a mate. It's a soulmate. This soul bonds with this soul and they become one. They're soulmates. That can happen more than once in your life. Um, but the problem is, the reason why we're having so much trouble, quote unquote, finding our soulmate these days is because we're, 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 we're going about it the wrong way. Okay, we're not we're not actually going into relationships with the intentions of being compatible. Finding compatibility. That's really what all of this is about. You're looking for a soulmate. You're looking for compatibility. You're looking for someone who matches your energy. We're just energy. All of this is, you know, a shell. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. We are energy. So what you're really looking for is compatibility, right? But you're not going into relationships with the intention of getting to know someone, getting to, getting to know whether you're compatible with this person, whether this person is compatible with you. Do you like the same foods? Do you like the same um, activities? Do you like to travel? Does he like to travel? Are you spiritual? Are you religious? What are your, what's your history? Your history and your upbringing that determines how you see life, um, how you see love. What's important to you? What are your morals? What are your goals? Um, this is the stuff that makes you compatible. The sex is not what makes you compatible. Anyone can be sexually compatible. You know, we put too much emphasis on sex in this whole society. Sex is the easy part. Anyone can be sexually compatible. If you just teach each other, if you have sex enough in your, in your, in your, the type of couple that um, knows how to communicate verbally, as well as, um, as well as sexually, you, you can learn each other and learn what each other like sexually. That's not the hard part. The hard part is what comes after the sex. Do I still want to talk to this person after sex? Do, do I want to spend time with them? Do I enjoy their company? Do I enjoy their mind? Do I enjoy their spirit? You have to be um, respectable not just uh, respectful. Um, you have to have the qualities that you want in them. That's compatibility, equally yoked, right? We got people running around wanting, you know, this person's a five and then they look, they're looking for tens. You're not equally yoked. And I don't mean just five in looks. I mean five in whatever your life is. And you're looking for tens. You're not equally yoked. Tens are not looking for fives. Why? Because they're not, they know that they're not equally yoked. 
So if you want a 10 and you have a five, you have to do the work to become the 10. So you equally yoke with the 10. You don't sit back like Cinderella, wishing and praying and hoping that Prince Charming, you're gonna find your way to some ball from some magic slipper and some dress and some mice are gonna help you, you know, find your foolishness, right? <laughs> Disney stuff. And you're gonna end up in some ball where the prince chooses you. That's not how it works. No, you have to build yourself up. And again, I think men know this better than women because men have to do that. Women are born with their inherent value, which is their youth and beauty. Men have to build themselves up to be protectors and providers. You understand? Um, we have to build ourselves so we understand nothing, nothing is uh, given to us. Um, so I, I just need, I need you guys to think about this because Disney has done a, a huge disservice to us as men and women in general. This Disneyfication, if you will, um, has set us back in relationships for many, many years. We're not looking for, what we're looking for is compatibility. And the bottom line is that most people are never going to find their soulmate because they're not honest with their own self, that their soul is, is not healthy. Their soul is fractured. So they're going to find someone with a fractured soul. That's their mate. See, because if you have a fractured soul and you want to bond that soul with a healthy soul, what happens? Your fractured soul is going to fracture their soul. Or their healed soul is going to heal yours. But it doesn't happen just because you bond. It happens because you're both doing the work. He's trying to heal you and you are doing the work to be healed healed it's not either or it's both are you compatible this is Mr. Cab Cabernet lifestyle connoisseur and these are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur these are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of.